There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It is the fastest growing chronic condition around the world and type 2 diabetes is now viewed as a worldwide epidemic. Indigenous people and socially disadvantaged people tend to experience higher rates of diabetes. In 2018 to 2019, 7.9% of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people had diabetes. The proportion was similar in males and females, and the prevalence increased with age. The rate was higher in remote areas than in non-remote areas. Unfortunately, there is currently no way to prevent type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is no longer a condition that only affects older people. Early onset type 2 diabetes now accounts for most new cases of diabetes in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children and adolescents under the age of 25 years. Diabetes causes high blood sugar levels that can lead to serious damage to many of the body's systems. Control of blood sugar levels worsens more rapidly in early onset type 2 diabetes than in other diabetes and increases the risk of the early development of chronic diseases. The good news is that a person with type 2 diabetes can decrease their blood sugar levels through healthy lifestyle changes. If blood sugar levels can remain normal for at least three months, this is called remission. This can reduce the risk of developing diabetes complications and other chronic diseases. Socially disadvantaged people are more likely to develop type 2 diabetes. Preventive strategies need to address the modifiable health risk factors, the social determinants of health, and family and child health needs. In 2017 and 2018, around 13% of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander mothers who gave birth were diagnosed with gestational diabetes mellitus, sometimes referred to as GDM. GDM increases with age. 32% of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women over 40 years of age had developed GDM during pregnancy. Diabetes in pregnancy can lead to complications for the mother and child during pregnancy, at birth and after birth. Mothers with pre-existing diabetes are at higher risk of complications than those with GDM. And babies of mothers with pre-existing diabetes are also at higher risk of complications. Mothers with pre-existing type 2 diabetes and mothers with GDM are more likely to have children who develop diabetes later in life. This may be caused by factors the baby experiences while in the womb that the mother may or may not be able to control, such as having malnutrition, suffering from psychological stress, smoking, using alcohol, and having high blood sugar levels. The prevention of type 2 diabetes in high-risk individuals is an essential component of diabetes care. And those with diabetes require more support, education, and services such as earlier detection and good quality primary health care to manage ongoing care and specialist treatment. It is important that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander community members, health workers and practitioners are involved in designing programs for the prevention, early detection and management of diabetes. Culturally appropriate health checks, education about diabetes health risk and self-management will help to ensure that treatment and management are delivered sensitively and is culturally acceptable to the broader community.